This is an adaptation of the open access paper Optimal Scheduling of Merchant-Owned Energy Storage Systems with Multiple Ancillary Services. Section 1. Introduction. Electrical energy storage, EASE, is one of the most promising modern power systems research areas. Enthusiasm for energy storage systems has been rekindled recently due to potential benefits to power systems. In the literature, several studies of the technical and economic benefits of EASE have been undertaken. More than 26 applications, where EASE can support power systems were mentioned in Reference 1. Transmission congestion relief, load following, and transmission and distribution upgrade deferral are some of the listed benefits of these applications. In Reference 2, applications are reported which have potential benefits to Southern California Edison's grid. Improved reliability, power quality, frequency regulation, outage mitigation, ramp power supply, and asset deferral are among the listed benefits. It may be a challenge to find the best use of ease given that different functions can conflict with each other. For example, energy arbitrage might not be possible while supplying reserve power due to the sharing of the power and energy capacity of ease for both functions. If both functions are required, respective operation limits need to be established for both power and energy. In other words, the optimal mix of ancillary services and energy arbitrage operations needs to be computed with the optimal sharing of power and energy capacity of ease. A ancillary services from energy storage. In reference 3 and 4, coordinated control algorithms have been proposed to mitigate voltage deviations using distributed ease. The proposed algorithms have better performance than the existing voltage regulation methods. Ease operation methods for frequency regulation are presented in reference 5. According to 5, ease is very effective in frequency regulation, but the proper operation method is also very important. A bi-level network reconfiguration optimization model has been developed to reveal the restoration paths with the support of centralized charging stations in reference 8. In reference 9, an optimization model for power system restoration with ease operation strategy is presented. The above studies prove that ease can effectively supply ancillary services in addition to the energy arbitrage function. However, in addition to the technical merits, the financial attractiveness of ease operation is important for the widespread adoption of ease. Therefore, profit maximization operation of ease is discussed in the following studies. The optimal operation of energy storage. In reference 10, a profit maximizing model for merchant owned battery ease, which is used for frequency regulation ancillary services, was developed. The model minimized the operating cost by keeping the state of charge SOC, within the optimal range. Another profit maximizing model for energy arbitrage and ancillary services was proposed in reference 11 and 12. The SOC related operational issues and technical constraints for ease in the proposed models were not considered. In reference 13 and 14, profit maximization studies were presented for energy arbitrage services. Optimal reserve power scheduling studies for pumped hydro plants were presented in reference 15 and 16. From all these studies, only 11 and 12 considered supplying energy arbitrage and ancillary services from the same ease to maximize profit. However, neither study considered the optimal sharing of ease technical capacity to supply those different services. The power capacity, the energy capacity, and the reactive power capacity should be shared simultaneously to supply ancillary services and to conduct energy arbitrage. Furthermore, the above proposed models do not consider financial losses incurred due to indirect technical wear and tear, such as lifetime reduction of ease. In reference 15 and 16 the detailed technical characteristics of ease are examined, but those studies considered profit maximization of ease only for reserve power supply. In reference 17 and 18, the optimal operation of ease for multiple ancillary services and energy arbitrage was computed. However, ease costs related to abuse and lifetime loss were not included c the motivation for the proposed model supplying multiple ancillary services could provide more opportunities for ease and could improve financial benefits for the ease operator the research studies reviewed have three major limitations regarding optimal operation of ease one they do not generate the optimal mix of ancillary services and energy arbitrage needs to be supplied by ease to maximize the profit two they do not provide optimal limits of shared ease technical capacity parameters power capacity energy capacity reactive power capacity and three they neglect complex technical characteristics and all direct and indirect benefits and costs e.g cycle life loss of ease 
there is a need for a generic model which can analyze the profitability of any type or size of ease with ancillary services and energy arbitrage. The model should optimize the supply level of each ancillary service based on ease characteristics and market prices. Optimal levels of shared ease capacity for each service should be included in the results of the generic model. The proposed model. In this paper, we propose a novel linear profit maximizing model of ease. The proposed generic model applies to any type of ease technology and can consider multiple ancillary services. The proposed model considers that ease can participate in energy arbitrage and the following ancillary services voltage regulation, frequency regulation, reserve power, and black start support. Generally, energy arbitrage and ancillary services are supplied for different time scales. For example, energy arbitrage is supplied based on hourly prices, while frequency regulation is conducted for signals of several seconds. When optimizing for energy arbitrage using hourly prices, while optimizing for frequency regulation with intermittent dispatches, it is difficult to agree upon a time step for the optimization. Hourly optimization does not capture decisions on smaller time scales. On the other hand, if a smaller time step is selected, it is difficult to manage the size of the optimization problems and conduct a full-year optimization with many decision variables and constraints. For this reason, it is challenging to optimize the operation of ease for multiple services simultaneously. However, by allocating the energy and power capacities of ease, the optimal level of each service can be determined. Based on the model results, the ease operator can make the most profitable commitments. Once the energy capacity limits and power capacity limits for each service are determined, the ease operator is free to operate the ease within those limits. For example, an ease optimal power capacity sharing could be 30% of megawatts capacity for frequency regulation, 40% of the megawatts capacity for energy arbitrage, and 30% of the megawatts capacity for reserve power. This paper addresses the key concerns of ease owners with respect to maintaining optimal operation of their units and gaining maximum profits. Furthermore, the proposed model looks at the abuse of ease and related costs to maximize profit. Costs of fast charging and low SOC operation are also included in the model. This paper is organized as outlined below. Section 3 presents the mathematical problem formulation of maximizing the overall profit of ease operation. In Section 4, the results of case studies and sensitivity analyses are explained. Section 5 summarizes the main contributions of the proposed merchant-owned e-scheduling model. The conclusion of the paper is in Section 6. This is an adaptation of the open access paper. Optimal scheduling of merchant-owned energy storage systems with multiple ancillary services.